Hey, I'm Jamie. Uh, I'm an audio producer at Reform Radio, and we're just here at the Mayfield Park producing a three part podcast series funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. And yeah, basically, what I've been doing these last few months is coming to the site, speaking to historians, artists, photographers, people involved with the development, and we're going to build a podcast that sort of covers the history of the site, what's happening in the present, and then looking to the future. I'm from quite uh, a small town uh, on the east coast of England. I first started to get involved in music in my early teens. Um, I started sort of by playing music with bands and sort of getting involved with different people um, in the local scene. I had a few friends who lived in Manchester and coming up to visit them, I realised what sort of like an incredible city it is and kind of how much there is going on culturally. When I first moved to Manchester, I started working at a venue, a new venue that opened called Freight Island. And I had no idea at the time that six months later, I would be producing a three part podcast series about that site. And it's only through creating this podcast that I've sort of learned about how incredible the story of that area is. You know, it's, it has been regenerated and it's become this like really thriving, like cultural hub. But for hundreds of years, it's had so much interesting stuff happening. The Manchester Morgan Mayfield is a legend internationally for the cult Spanish-Italian 1974 zombie film directed by Jorge uh, George Grau, Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, aka The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. Creating this podcast has actually had quite a big influence on my own production. One of the things I've been doing is going round the site and interviewing different people involved. Often the best bits you're not prepared for I love taking a microphone just when I'm walking through the streets and I'm out and about and just recording sound and just kind of capturing as much as possible because you kind of never really know what you're going to pick up that might spark ideas in your production. And soundscapes can be so powerful, you know, they can like change the environment, you know, and transport you somewhere else. In the future, I'd definitely like to continue working with audio. Like definitely these last few years and since living in Manchester, I've realised that kind of is where my real passion lies and kind of, yeah, where I have the most fun and where I feel I can just like completely zone out and, you know, just get it be, be sort of like lost for hours. You can go give this podcast a listen on all your usual platforms, you know, Spotify, Apple Music and yeah, make sure you go and check out the park as well. <laughs>